What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and this is the Trials of Osiris Guide for Noobs. Now I say that because I am a multiplayer noob. I almost never play the Crucible, and in fact I don't even really like the Crucible. I'm a PvE mainly guy, but saying that, I was able to go 9-0 in the Trials of Osiris and unlock the chest on the lighthouse in Mercury and get some of the most exclusive loot in the game. I think a lot of you are probably in the same boat I am. You don't play PvP that much, but you want a shot at that legendary 9-0 chest. Well, this video is going to help you because I've compiled some tips that really helped me throughout the whole ordeal and getting to 9-0. So without further ado, let's get started on the guide. The first tip I have for you guys is get a good team. Now I know a lot of you just probably went, wait, is this guy serious? Get a good team? No crap, get a good team. But I guarantee this is a tip that a lot of you won't do. And it's such a simple thing. We all have that friend who has the notoriously shitty connection. We all have that friend who's not very good but we play with anyways because he's hilarious. If you're serious about going 9-0 and though, you might have to ditch those friends. It's gonna suck if you're 8-0 and and your friend with a notoriously crappy connection legs out and you're a man down and you lose that round. Or the friend that never listens to anyone and thinks he's so good runs with the shotgun, dies and blames on his connection and you lose. You might have to ditch your designated friends group in order to be serious enough to go 9-0. and Again, it's one of those things where a lot of us take for granted. We just play with a designated friends team even if we know some of our friends aren't that good. But again, you're gonna have to go to, you know, something like the Destiny Fireteam subreddit or DestinyLFG.net somewhere to go and find serious people if you are serious again in order to go 9-0. and Now the next tip I have for you guys is learn to crouch scrub. Now basically what I'm saying is you gotta know when and when not to crouch and crouching is very important being invisible on the radar is essentially like putting on ghosts from Call of Duty but all you have to do is press a button. Now the thing about crouch is a lot of people use it wrong. If you already see red dots in your minimap it's basically too late. Crouching isn't probably gonna do anything because the enemy team knows we are. You have to crouch just before you appear on their minimap. Running to a point where you can overlook an area of the map where a lot of people travel and then crouching to take yourself off the radar so that people can't see you when they're coming but you can see them is very advantageous. The next tip is that you're going to be using your primary gun a lot, so make sure you're very competent with that primary gun. If you just got the last word, the last word's a very good gun, but if you just got it, you've never used it, it is not the time to crack it out in the Trials of Osiris. You're going to want to spend a lot of days on Crucible mastering that gun before you go into the Trials of Osiris. I was using the Vex Mythic class because I had used that gun a lot before and I was very competent with it. It may not be the greatest gun, and I had a thorn, but I never used the thorn, so it just wasn't worth it for me to try to learn to master a new gun in this very competitive setting. The next tip is diversify your threats. Now what I'm talking about this is don't have everyone with a sniper. We actually versed about a seventh win, we versed a team that every single person was rocking a sniper. And their game plan was to sit in the back and snipe. They were very good at it. They won a couple of rounds because they were excellent snipers. But we were able to exploit this fact because all of them were doing the same thing. We just ended up rushing, we ended up getting close to them where they couldn't handle it, using grenades to take them out of their sniper nests. We were Again, we were able to exploit the fact that the entire team was doing the same thing. And it's going to be the opposite for you. If everyone on your team is rocking a sniper, the other team can easily exploit that. If everyone on your team is blink striking, the enemy team can exploit that by, you know, putting more distance between you and them. Don't all do the same thing. Make sure that you have, you know, one person with a sniper, you know, maybe a couple other people with a shotgun. If one person is blink striking, that's fine. The other two shouldn't be. Again, diversify your threats. Don't have your whole team do the same thing because it's easy to exploit that fact. The next tip I have for you is watch dead bodies like a hawk. Do not 
teabag anyone. Seriously, well, I'm being dead serious about that. Never, ever, ever teabag an enemy. And the reason is because warlocks. Self-res will get you killed. Self-res is your enemy. And people that can have self-res, they usually wait for the opportune moment. I have seen whole teams get wiped because everyone goes over to teabag the corpses, the warlock self-res is a couple of grenades, and everyone dies. It, it, do not be that team. If you see a bundle of dead bodies, like aim in, aim down sights with your weapon and watch those bodies and just wait. There's really no point, you don't need to celebrate, you might as well just be extremely vigilant and cautious until you actually definitively win that round. The next tip I have for you guys is don't chase and don't get greedy. If you're shooting a guy, you down his shields and even hurt him a little bit, he only has half his health left and then he runs outside and goes around a corner, don't chase right after him. There is very likely chance that he's just set a trap. He turns right around and he's waiting there with a fell winter. You know, it doesn't matter if someone is extremely low on health, there's a lot of insta-kill things in Destiny multiplayer. So don't get greedy, don't chase when you shouldn't, be smart. And this leads right into the very next tip about revive is a priority. Again, if your enemy is just a few shots away from getting killed, he's the last guy but he runs around the corner, stay with your teammate and revive him first. So much can go wrong by you getting greedy and chasing that guy around that corner. If he kills you, it's all over. You might as well stick by your teammate who has maybe just been killed, revive him, and then go after him with two people, hopefully three people. Don't be stupid and revive. Don't take this tip too seriously and get killed trying to revive your teammates. If you have the chance to get a kill, take it, don't revive your teammates in that aspect, but revive is more of a priority than you think. Too many times I've seen teams get greedy, the last guy thinks he can, you know, solo our two last guys, and we just kill him. And it ruins it for the whole team, even when he maybe had the opportunity to revive his teammates. And if he did, it would have changed everything. Having teammates on your side is always more important, and try to prioritize that. Alright, and the last tip I have for you guys is that if your super is recharged, their supers are recharged. And that is mostly the case. Mostly one team isn't completely stomping and their supers recharge way quicker than the other team. Most of the time, both teams are trading kills and wins, and so, again, if your super is recharged, now I know intellect has a lot to do with this and different players will get their supers quicker, but just a good way to judge it is that if your super is recharged or is very close to recharging, they likely have their supers as well. And so, don't do anything stupid. If all of your team has their supers and you haven't seen any supers from the other team, this is not the round to bunch up and rush together. You're going to get blown out by a fist of havoc. So make sure you spread apart. Just make sure you're aware that if you have your supers, they have their supers and play accordingly. Don't bunch up. Really watch people. Like, don't, don't try to out snipe the guy with the golden gun. All of that stuff. Alright guys, so that is it for the video. I know this isn't every multiplayer tip out there and there's tons of different multiplayer guides, how to multiplayer, how to be good, etc. But these are the things that really helped me in my run through Trials of Osiris and I really hope help you as well. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see Destiny content similar to this. And as always, have a good day.